Hello and in this video is the conclusion about the procedural terrains with Unreal Engine and Houdini. During the tutorial series, we have built digital assets that can generate procedural terrains based on user inputs. The Houdini digital asset itself that is being created can generate multiple variations of a level and you can control how everything would look. Right now on the screen you see some multiple variations of a level and playing around with parameters, input shapes and so on. You can build as many controls as you want to control certain behaviors on the placement of trees, cliffs, the path, and so on. The tool works on basic shapes. So you're going to block out your level with, for example, simple shapes like boxes or other shapes you have. And then you can define areas where you would like to see mountains, buildings, and so on. At any point, we are able to go back to our block out shapes and we are able to tweak them so this is a non-destructive workflow where we are always able to change our scene output is also close to our input as you can see here some of the boxes compared to our buildings once you create a base setup you can also start thinking now about scaling up your level so this tool will provide you all the necessary features to then scale up this terrain as much as you want to. And here is a demo of a bigger world. So everything you see here is procedurally being calculated and placed. The tool will handle building, cliff, trees, other details, and these will all be set up nicely for you. Once levels are generated, we can then just press the play button and we can quickly walk around our level and start testing out if everything works. So here are some other results where we can have a big view on a forest scene, for example. For these tutorials, we have used Unreal Engine together with a plugin called Houdini Engine. So the plugin works behind the scenes and will procedurally generate our terrain. So we still have a lot of control for designers to define where certain buildings are, bridges, paths, trees, and so on. So that was it for these videos. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you for watching.